the Earth is believed by some to have existed for about 4.5 billion years. During this expanse of time, the Earth is supposed to have experienced different conditions and has been undergoing a constant process of change. Due to phenomenal changes, certain giant animals like dinosaurs became extinct. The geography of our planet is believed to have also changed, which may have led to the development of various human civilizations. None of the civilizations proved to be sustainable. Countless civilizations can now only be traced from their ruins spread across every country throughout the world. You'll be amazed to know what they look like before being ruined. Today, we'll explore this fascinating side of archaeology and show you 15 archaeological sites and what they used to look like back in the day. Sky High Citadel Located at a height of 8,000 feet on the top of a mountain in Urumbamba River Vani in Peru are the remains of the world's well-known ruins. It's the legendary Incan citadel called Machu Picchu, first discovered by American explorer Hiram Bingham in 1911. Supposedly, the Incans built this citadel at a considerable height so it would not be attacked easily. They abandoned the city in the 16th century due to a possible outbreak of smallpox epidemic. During the time of obscurity, the settlement was covered by vegetation as the Incans did not use cement and mortar for construction. Bingham and his team worked hard for four months clearing unwanted plants. They found it to be a sprawling site, and after further excavation, the citadel has dramatically improved, but still falls far short of its 15th century glory. Its houses used to have thatched roofs of dried grass. The city had a farming zone, a sacred area, and a royal district, where Incan ruler Pachacuti Inca Yupanqui ruled from his palace. Insanity in Italy The volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in Italy in 79 AD proved so disastrous that the nearby bustling city of Pompeii, housing over 12,000 people, was entirely covered with ash, leading to the annihilation of a complete community. After 1,700 years, archaeologists managed to unearth the ancient city. Surprisingly, the volcanic ash had immaculately preserved everything, and the majority of the city is easily recognizable. Walls, streets, buildings, and even some artwork are in good shape. You can see here this food stall. The city boasted an amphitheater, gymnasium, port, and a complicated water supply system. They had several temples devoted to different Roman gods, including the Temple of Jupiter, which was toppled by a powerful earthquake in 62 AD. The Real Wall The wall, shown in the massively popular show Game of Thrones, is a gigantic icy megastructure built to keep out threats from the north of Westeros and based on an actual wall found in the north of England. The ruins of Hadrian's Wall, constructed in 122 AD, are still found there. It was a 73-mile-long huge structure spreading from one coast to the other. Roman Emperor Hadrian ordered its construction for separating his empire in Britain from the barbarians up in the north. It was made of stones. The remains of the wall in some places are up to 20 feet high. By the end of the 4th century, the wall was augmented with 40 forts called Mile Castles. It also hosted 17 larger forts and numerous observation towers. The Romans left Britain in the 5th century and the wall fell into disrepair. People stole its material for building other structures. Although the practice ended by the 19th century, damage caused left ruins instead of imposing mile castles. Nero to Zero Nero became Roman emperor in 54 AD. He built a huge palace complex in the center of Rome that encompassed about a half square mile of space, which is three times the size of the Vatican City. The extravagant palace built with stone and marble between 74 to 68 AD had 150 rooms including above and underground, a pool and a gigantic 100-foot-tall statue of the emperor. All rooms were decorated from floor to ceiling with gold, precious stones, shells and pearls. It was named Domus Aurea or Golden House. The grandest room, having five dining rooms, was the octagonal hall which served as a banquet hall. It had waterfalls cascading down the back walls. The octagonal hall rotated around its axis. Archaeologists recognize that this majestic mechanism was powered by water. Due to the unpopularity of Nero, his successors distanced themselves from him and savagely stripped his palace of its materials and riches. The surviving structure of the palace is far from the grand complex it once used to be. The Plundered Parthenon 
Between 447 and 432 BC, the Greek Empire reached the height of its opulence. During this period, one of the most iconic temples of history was constructed at the top of Athens' religious citadel, the Acropolis. It's generally known as the Parthenon and covers a 23,000 square foot area. The building comprises 64 marble columns and beautiful, vividly painted friezes. It housed an impressive 39-foot-tall statue of Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom and war. It was made of gold and ivory, but was gone by the 5th century AD. Probably it was plundered by the Eastern Roman Empire, comprising Christians who took hold of Greece in the 6th century AD. The Parthenon was converted into a Catholic church, and several of its carved friezes were destroyed. In 1458 AD, the Muslim Ottoman Empire captured the Greek capital and converted the building into a mosque. Just a couple hundred years later, Christian forces bombarded the Parthenon with cannonballs when the Ottomans were using it for storing volatile ammunition. Resultantly, massive structural damage was caused to the building. In the 19th century, during his visit to Parthenon, British Earl Thomas Bruce stole the remaining marble friezes and sculptures, which now remain safe in London. At the age of 2,454 years, the Parthenon doesn't look as glamorous as it used to be. Chilin in Chichen Itza The Mayan city of Chichen Itza, located in Mexico state of the Yucatan, is well over 1,500 years old. Although currently it's abandoned, at its peak it used to have a population of about 35,000. Its site covers four square miles and has a slew of 26 ruins to be explored, including the most popular of which is called El Castillo. The temple stands about 80 feet above the main plaza and has 91 steps up each of its four sides, making a total of 365. Probably the number of steps, which equals the days of a solar year, is connected to rituals that were carried out at the top. The pyramid was constructed directly above the cenote, which is a water-filled sinkhole and a deep pit leads down into this cenote. Mayans believe that in case of drought, throwing an inmate into the cenote as a sacrifice would bring rain. In the 15th century, the city was completely abandoned and probably because of drought. The jungle covered the city until it was decided to evacuate the site in the early 1900s. After a hard work of over a decade, the pyramid was restored to its past glory and became one of the most popular tourist destinations. Really Old Sarum If you stroll through the southern English countryside, you would come across a strange feature, the remains of Old Sarum. It's an Iron Age hill fort originally constructed in 400 BC and inhabited by British tribespeople. After the conquest of Britain around 43 BC, the fort was occupied by Romans and it was taken over by Anglo-Saxons when the Romans abandoned Britain around 400 AD. Subsequently, Normans captured it in 1066 AD. They made numerous changes to the old fort, including throwing up the Mott, an elevated mound in the middle of which the castle stood. Around 1100 AD, the site became a buzzing borough and a hub of literate clerks who resided in the cathedral. Due to the tussle between soldiers and clergy, the cathedral was removed and built a few miles towards the south in Salisbury, where it still exists. Gradually, royalty lost interest in the site, and finally, in 1832, it lost its borough status and became deserted. Just a few clues remain of its old glory. Great Giza the Great Pyramid of Giza was part of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. This awe-inspiring testament of ancient Egyptian civilization was built around 4,500 years ago as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu. Presently, it's one of the most attractive tourist destinations in the world. At the time of its construction, it had a smooth and shiny appearance instead of the current rough, jagged appearance. The Egyptians built a layer of limestone over the initial step-like structure and polished it extensively. They also decorated the point of the pyramid in gold so that it would shine. The gigantic monument is made of approximately 9,000 tons of granite, over 550,000 tons of mortar, and more than 6 million tons of limestone. For its construction, the workers initially travelled southeast of Giza to the Tura quarries located on the other side of the Nile and hammered lines of wooden wedges into the stone. They would soak the stone in water. The wedges used to absorb the water expand and crack the rock into blocks, which were taken and ferried across the river Nile, then dragged on sledges up to the construction site. They used a complex ramp and pulley system for hauling the heavy blocks up to the pyramid. 
Over the thousands of years, some people stripped the white limestone and gold tip off and used them in other buildings. Tack Attack Egypt is considered to be the cradle of ancient civilizations, but just towards the northeast lies Iraq, which has been part of the once glorious Persian Empire. A strange ruin known as Tak Kasra stands just 35 kilometers towards southeast of the Iraqi capital Baghdad. This battered archway is what remains of the once majestic and richest city of its time known as Ctesiphon, which was founded by King Mithridates I in the 2nd century BC. The bustling city remained the jewel of the Persian Empire's crown for the best part of about 800 years. It boasted a magnificent palace decorated with marble, glass, mosaics, and jewel-adorned carpets. The Arch Takkasra, which boasts to be the largest single-span arch in the world even today, was also part of the same palace. Due to its wealth, Romans successfully attacked it thrice between 116 and 198 AD, but it continued as the epicenter of Persian culture for another 400 years. In 637 AD, Muslim Arab forces fought a great battle outside the city and captured Ctesiphon. They carried away everything, including parts of buildings which were used for building Baghdad. The only structure left was Tak Kasra. Colossal Colosseum Ancient Romans enjoyed witnessing brutal fights to the death, which used to take place in the large amphitheater known as the Roman Colosseum, commissioned by Emperor Vespasian around 70 AD. It was opened for people in 80 AD by his son Titus. It had almost 157-foot-tall walls, 80 entrances, and a capacity of up to 87,000 people. Spectators from all classes could attend events while being seated as per their social status. The Colosseum flourished for four centuries, but the decline of the Western Roman Empire led to neglect and its abandonment after the 6th century AD. Presently, just one-third of the original Colosseum remains in rubble. However, its architectural allure is still as strong as ever. Time-touched Tikal A mysterious assortment of structures is located in the Guatemalan rainforests. These are the ruins of the city of Tikal, which used to be a center of the powerful Mayan civilization. The most impressive structure, which covers about 17,000 square feet of area, is called Tikal Temple II, built as a mausoleum for Lady Kalajun Unemo, who was the queen of a Mayan king who ruled from 682 to 734 AD. With a height of 125 feet, it pierces out through the trees. In the 8th century, its height was 138 feet. Despite currently being well-preserved, it was much more glorious in the past. The Mayans loved red. Its color scheme faded over time. The temples at Tikal were covered with intricately carved designs, and just a few like this mask have survived. Mysterious Mount A mystical patch of land known as Rathcrogan exists in the north of Ireland, which holds a whopping 240 archaeological sites. It covers an area of about 2.5 square miles. The very first Halloween festivals were held here in the 9th century, Besides a cluster of ancient sites including a strange cave that supposedly leads to hell, there exists a mysterious mound measuring 300 feet across and 20 feet tall which holds enormous secrets. About 1500 years ago, it looked like a gigantic fort. Actually, Rathcrogan was an enormous ceremonial temple. Scanning with special earth-scanning equipment has made archaeologists believe that wooden ramparts and ceremonial hedges used to exist at the top of the hillock. The ancient Celtic pagans used to practice mysterious rituals here. Probably, people might have gathered there to offer their precious possessions to the gods. The Bronze Giant In the 3rd century BC, there stood a great bronze statue in the city of Rhodes, Greece, and it represented the sun god Helios. It's believed to be 105 feet tall, named Colossus of Rhodes, and formed part of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. After its display for just 54 years, in 226 BC, it was toppled by a devastating earthquake. Still, its broken remains attracted a lot of tourists for centuries. In 654 AD, raiding Arab forces took away fragmented pieces of the Colossus, melted them down, and sold them. The iconic image was touted by historians centuries later in the Middle Ages. The size of Rhodes Harbor is equal to the width of an American football field. The statue would have been 1,640 feet tall, which was not possible at the time. 
The Indian Statue of Unity, being the tallest one in the world, is only 597 feet tall, so Colossus would not have been as impressive as has been propagated. Which of these historic sites would you like to visit? Do tell us in the comments section, and make sure you subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. We'll be back soon with more mind-boggling content for you guys. Until then, have a great time.